Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Sunday. It's around nine o'clock in the morning, and uh, just got up. Uh, we stayed up and watched the the Leafs win over the Detroit Red Wings. <laughs> Jim's just getting up. Uh, Carol's dad and uh, Carol's sister went down to the game. Uh, so uh, I believe that was Heather's first time to a hockey game. And Jim's been to many hockey games, but uh, he likes to go to bed around 9 or 10. So they got home, I think, after 12 last night because it's like a two hour drive from here to downtown Toronto. So <clears throat> he's wiped. I'm surprised he's up. I'm really surprised he's up. I thought he was going to sleep in another hour at least. Anyway, so I came out here just to do a few cutaway opening shots, and the lake is making uh, noises. So as the sun starts to warm it, it starts to crack and it makes these moaning boo noises and there was one where I was just setting up shooting the sun and that and one went off so I'm gonna shut off my autofocus because it's making noises there we go and we'll try and catch one of these very very cool noises Maybe we'll go out again later. I hope you heard those ones. All right, had breakfast, bacon and eggs. And Carol went for a little walk with Sam down to the lake and she said the lake was making even more noises. And uh, she even said possibly, if you set the camera up here, it's possible that the ice is moving So that's just, oh cool. Oh my gosh, it's like a monster.
what do you think of that, Carol? That is really cool. It's like there's whales or something trying to get out from underneath. Certain the ice. patterns almost seem like it's um like fireworks. Cause yes. like <laughs> Yes. Yeah. It also kinda of reminds me of when the when they would show footage of the Gulf War, you'd hear the, the rumblings mm -hmm. way off in the background and of the uh the fires uh the the uh, gunfire and the explosions. Yeah. That's what it kind of sounds like in certain situations. But uh Again, I've got my wind sock, wind screen on my microphone, and it is got a slight breeze, as you can see by those trees. And uh, yeah, I, while I was videotaping some of the sounds, I uh, texted or messaged JP and Julia from Healthy Junk Food because uh, I didn't know they were back from Japan yet because I'm like, hey, when are you guys leaving? Because I saw another post and again, it was a shot of them doing something in Japan and he just, they've got like another, I think a month of videos that they're going to keep releasing that they shot in uh, Japan. So uh, they, they are actually back home on February the 14th, Valentine's Day. They actually got back. I don't know why I missed that, but I missed it. So they've been back for a whole month and I didn't really know. I thought they were still there. Just because of the release of their videos, I, I'm thinking that they're releasing them while they're there, but they're not. They're home. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get some more cool shots for you. Let's do it. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what uh, it sounds like in Muskoka, March 24th, 25th. I don't know what day it is, but uh, yeah, I was hoping to get some ice movement. But probably if it's like this again tomorrow, maybe later on this afternoon, uh, the might the ice start might moving a little bit more. Woo, that's nice. Just like me, I'll shut the camera off and you hear that big crash, right? Big snap. The one that will make the headlines. So I think it's lunchtime. Carol's making uh, French onion soup, which will be perfect. And uh, yeah, so let's go up, whoa, up to the cottage and have some soup. We are on our way home, had a great day and a half here at the cottage, uh, got to experience lots of cracking of the ice 
and got to fly the drone a couple times. Carol made uh, French onion soup, which was brilliant. It was a go out and get it now, plus. And of course, what else would you uh. rate your wife's food? <laughs> uh, Carol's mom and her sister made chocolate chip cookies, which were freaking dynamite. Just, there's just something about them I really, really enjoyed. And then Carol bought uh, butter tarts from the store and they were really good too. What store did you get them from? The uh, Independent? Independent. Right. In, in Bracebridge. So yesterday when we were in Bracebridge. As you can see, I'm sporting this uh, hoodie one more day. And as soon as I get home, this hoodie and my green hoodie and a, probably my Canadian one, they're all going to go in the wash and I won't be able to wear them until... Once again, this camera just shut off for no apparent reason, so I don't know what's going on. And we're trying to figure out where I left off. I think it was the, the whole hoodie thing. So I think I'm gonna be wearing the Canadian hoodie in the airplanes all the way to Japan. And when I get to Tokyo, and then I'll start switching them up as I'm spending each day. All right, so it's about an hour drive home from here. And uh, again, thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and uh, this vlog will be over in a couple seconds once Carol says bye.